I'm Gigi, this is Sable, and I kind of like screwed up my words a little bit there. I said like this, just a tiny bit of a lisp moment. Those tree structures are like carved out. Oh, we've got like a carved out one here. Do I want to explore that before I head off? I think I do. I got things to explore before I go running into danger. Can I even get up there or is it... What? They're all... There's a bunch of them like this. What in the world is going on here? Oh, there's another statue over there that I bet is pointing to this one. Huh. The, my starting point was supposed to be over there. Probably even as far back as over there. Well, I'll just keep going. And we get where we get. Yeah, I can't get up onto that one. Uh, let's call some in. There you are. I like the noises Simoon makes. Like, they sound almost animal-like, but there's, there's still like a machine or like, um, fake sort of quality to them. Fake isn't the word I want to use, but I can't think of the word I do want to use. Um, like, a created sound. I can English, I promise. I even write sometimes. But when I'm speaking, the words just aren't there. Let's get that stamina back. And up we go. Just big metal pillar sticking out of the ground. Okay. Oh, this one was a big one. And it's completely knocked over. I feel like they might have messed up the sizing of this asset. Doesn't seem like that would have fit in that t tiny little temple. Okay, well, going that way, presumably. Yeah. Yeah, there's stuff over there. Okay. Now how do we get up there? Can I climb this? I can. Which might give me enough height to get all the way up. Up we go. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> that is such a huge flock of birds. I do think they're just kind of like going back and forth over this area. Don't know why, but that's their plan. Bitches be migrating, except they're not. There's totally like a chum up there, right? I did not let my stamina refill all the way, but we're probably fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. We're sick with it. I really want my climber mask. I don't know if I'd actually wear it though. <laughs> I just like the Abexi masks too much. It's very good. I got like the goat horn stuff. Chum, no chum up here. Come on, game. Can I see like anything on top of any of these from here? Doesn't seem like it. There might be some way off over there, but I don't think so. Go right back there. And I think I will go over there after I check out what the end of this path is, because there might be like chums over there. Okay. Onward. Yeah, no chums on these. We'll just go the normal way. It's weird that like some of these have just like stark white parts of them. It's like the salt is like falling off almost. Go. I mean it could just be like the sunlight hitting it, but I don't think so. I think it's intended to be white like that. Yep, they're both pointing at this door. Or whatever's here. I don't know if it's a door. It's a doorway, that's for sure. 
Ooh. Hello. Who are you? What is this? Whoa. Oh, I've been warped into a cutscene. Hello, person. Who are you? Stranger by the fireside introduced themselves as Lore. Oh, I, wow, okay, that was pretty easy to find them. <laughs> Didn't have to go <laughs> ask everyone. If I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled Lore, they vanished at the sight of her mask. Face turns. Whoa, you're looking for me, aren't you? Am I going to get your mask? Um, the Atomic Priesthood is looking for you. Tell Lore that I'm here on behalf of the Atomic Priesthood. I see then, Glider, you've come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to make me talk about how I've gone astray. I'm not sure what to say next, and I'm certainly not in rhyme, so I give a playful so I give a sort of playful shrug. Laura shakes her head and looks to the skies, her mask shifting away. I know why the priesthood wants me. Truth be told, I miss them as well. Wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. What did you do for them? I'm wandering fabulous, the poet's life my choice. The priest asks me to spread safety and give their knowledge voice. She sighs. Um, good rhymes, nice. Tell Laura I like her rhymes. She thanks me with a little bow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word. They treat me like a queen. But there's still something wrong. I'm at an impasse. I ask what kind. She doesn't answer. What is your name? I tell her it's Sable. Sable, as a glider, you might have a particular insight into what I am seeking. For what I desire is to choose a path, and you are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret maybe bordering on doubtful. The atomic priesthood, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and, well, frankly, I stop them being so bloody boring all the time. She crosses her arms. For that, they treat me wonderfully. I get anything I want so long as I use my gifts to convey their message. Sounds stifling. It does, it does, it does, it does. But it also means that I get to, that I get to live a charmed life and certainly more charm than most who make their living telling stories and singing songs. It's wonderful, really. So now I wonder, should I return to Ecria? Um, I don't know enough about your situation to answer yes or no. Um, no. Laura dismisses me again. No, 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 it isn't that easy, Sable. Don't you see? I spent these weeks wandering the vastness of the desert, traveling through towns and encampments, ruins and wonders, asking myself questions. I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions for which I have no answers. Perhaps if you can help me. Tell her, yes, sure, of course, please. Thank you. You have a glider's wisdom. Lord draws me closer and I look deep into the eyes of her mask. Sable. Glider, what is the value of art? Is it spreading truth or is it spreading joy? Joy. It's quite a start. I tell her that the value of art is... I think joy. That is why I make art. I tell her it's joy and she nods vigorously. If all we get is just one life to live a little while, then it would seem a noble dream to give the world a smile. Fascinating, Sable. Really helpful. Or was it? Next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? Well, what, am I, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were very much the same thing. Instead. Hmm. This is interesting. I definitely do, I throw both to the wind when I'm exploring this world. Um, I think safety, you know, li throw a little bit of caution to the wind, but don't, like, well, because I feel like safety could imply just not doing these, like, not going out on adventures because adventures are dangerous. You can have a little bit of caution while doing it. But I think safety is more important than caution because with safety, you have, like making sure you're safe will well, I'm I'm gonna pick randomly. Um, caution it is. <laughs> 
I tell you that I think caution is more important than safety. Caution, interesting, and you didn't even have to think. Yeah, I definitely didn't think at all. Perfect. Or clears your throat. When I first left my home and was bound for the sand, I knew not what I'd find as I walked this great land, but I knew that in going I'd risk soul and skin, so I wore caution out and let fire within. Um, new rhyme scheme there, I like it. Laura nods. Versatility. You've been so helpful. Say a little thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you, still in your gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose or are we indulging in our freedom? To be fair to Lore, this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is my purpose as a glider to see all places, or is it to find my place? Think on it and offer an answer. The purpose of such exploration is... Hmm. Well, there's definitely a bit of both going on here, because... As a glider, we go out into the world to see the world, to live carefree days as a free explorer. But in the end, the purpose of the gliding is to see the world, to find your purpose. I think that is the stated purpose of the gliding. But I also have heard a lot of people saying how they miss their gliding, how they miss the freedom. and. So there's kind of like the unstated, well, even so, indulging your freedom is still stated by multiple people because uh, a lot of people talk about how free they were on their gliding and how that is part of the gliding is enjoying freedom. And in the end, it's to find purpose. So I think the purpose is the end and indulging freedom is the means in a way. So I'm going to say to indulge your freedom. Tell Laura that the point is to indulge our freedom. Fascinating. She breathes in. Our hearts are such impatient things. They hate to be told no. So we seek out time while we're in our prime. But it's space we need to grow. Laura pauses after this last. I hear the wind blow past and then suddenly she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I made up my mind, but I'll need another night or so to think on it. I ask Laura if she's going back to Ecuador or not and she laughs. I find myself liking her laugh quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today. I feel quite refreshed. Ooh, entertainer's badge. Take this badge, a token of your contribution. A glider named Sable, the fabulous lore, shared something today on the sands. I put faith in her judgment, all trust in her brain, and my fate in her capable hands. Lore bows, and I must admit, I feel quite nice having heard that. Thank you, Sable. I know we'll meet again. I wish Laura the best and then tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. Oh no, she's got me doing it. That's cute. Alright. Speak to Sharvarana now that Laura has returned. Alright. Well, I'm immediately going to climb this thing for literally no reason. So, Entertainer Badge. That's a new type of person. Interesting. Are we going to get like all three from lore? Or is there going to be more entertainers throughout the world? Because that's the first, because lore is the first one I met. Hello, chums. No. Okay, so that's where this was supposed to start, I think. Let's take a look around. Take a look, see. Because from there, I saw like an orange circle down here or something. Maybe right over there. Okay. So, and I did start my timer, right? Yes, we're going. Um. So I think my plan is to go see the orange circle that I saw from the cartographer's balloon, then head to the start of like the arrow pointing areas, see if I can find any chums back there. And then we'll head on to head out of the shipyard anyway. Can I land on this? I don't think so. I kind of want to for literally no reason. Ooh, no, I totally can land on this. Come on, precision. And 
boom, I am here. Okay, so that's where I just was. Onward. There should be an orange, or was the orange circle I saw just the overturned temple roof thing? I think it was just the overturned temple roof thing. Shit. So I came back here for nothing? Question mark. Right, this was orange, yeah, okay. That was a little bit of a waste of time then. Okay. Where's my Simoon? Simoon, where are you going, girl? Come on. You take a weird path, Simoon. There's like definitely some chums hidden out here. Okay, we'll just like <laughs> take this backwards and we'll explore this little area. So that was the one I went to. And this is the one that probably pointed to it. I just climb this off like that. Yeah, definite, they're definitely like salt dripping off the sides. Not like dripping off, but just like staining the sides of these structures. Because that one's very clearly in the shade. Now, what am I doing here? Just climbing further up. Anything over here? This seems like a place to hide a secret. No. Sad. Alright, up we go. I am almost out of stamina. Let's let that refill. And good enough. This is a short wall. I don't need all of my stamina. I can get up in there. Yeah, so here's this one. Okay. But I can make it into these as well. And I'm curious why they, these would be carved out. So are these just like big salt pillars or something? What is the deal with these? No chum. You're killing me, game. I need my chum rewards. No chum. Okay, and then we head off in this direction. And where did I put some in? Down further. Ooh. Come on. Alright. Into this area. How do I get up here? Ooh. Right here. These seem to typically denote like places you're supposed to climb I guess just that huge flock of birds in the air okay so this one doesn't even have like a pointer am I just supposed to see the next one from here Where is the pointer elsewhere? And is there any chums? Grr. I thought I was just supposed to be like, oh, well, that looks interesting. Seems like the next place to go. All right. Maybe it's something to do with like the pillars that fell. Okay next set of pillars. Oh, there's a campfire over here. Okay. 
That's interesting. Let's see. Here's the next one. Okay, and I can climb up from that spot. What are these weird structures? Okay. So I think this is the first one. Yeah, so you pointed me towards there. So meaning these, this set of rocks I'm about to climb is just random, but there's something up there. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's something. Let's get climbing so we can see. Up we go. You there, big rock. I need to know what you are. Yeah, and you just can't make it on a full stamina. So you definitely need to get some upgrades with chums before you come here. This is not a beginner friendly sort of place. I suppose if you explored Sansea first, then you would have found the chum queen earlier than I did. What are you? You're an overturned tower, that's what you are. Not so exciting. But... Suspicious. Why is this here if it was not pointing me towards this one? There's another tower over there, which is the one I was at. Hmm. Maybe... Over there? Here, we'll go over to this one. I did not get a running start like I wanted, but we should still be fine. Gliding OP. Hello, chums. No, no chums. And what's the point? Decoration? This structure is here for decoration? There are a lot of things in this game that do, do just seem to be for decoration, you know? Which, I mean, it's fine, but when I think that's kind of a problem with open world games, is there's only so much content to fit between everything else. I'm gonna climb to this one, even though I'm like positive there's no chum up here. Heck, there's only, only so many little, like, separated spots of objectives to do in such a big world. Alright, off we go. So you kind of wind up with, like, a lot of exploring nothing areas. What's going on with this campfire? There's definitely nothing up there. I'm not even gonna worry about those. This is <laughs> farther away than it looked. Farther away is how I said. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, we have... Okay, so we're in this area. So these are the multicolor pools. You, do you make fashion or some shit? Salt Harvester Felix, welcome to the Waste Glider. What can I do for you? Why are you out here? Well, the Koreans love salt. They love pink salt, they love blue salt, they love green salt. So we work out here, skin slowly peeling away so they can have a look at the good stuff. The waste is a tough place to be, but it pays well and it's quiet. There aren't many places like this in Midden, that's for sure. What can I do for you? Um, can I have some salt? When you need salt for it, in its raw form, stuff is unusable. It needs to be processed before it's edible. If you want to try your salt and food, you'll have to head on west into the Red Sea to Ecria. We have an exclusive contract with the traders there. Can't be selling our goods to any old glider who stumbles past. Ooh, you've come a long way, so I'll do you one better. Here's something for your bike over there. You're welcome. I do appreciate that. And every time I get new dye, I'm like, I need to mess around. I need to upgrade um, Samoon. I need to switch around her parts, but I haven't done so. Is this solid or is this... Ooh. It's like, aha, uh -huh, glider. I haven't had one up here in a while. Feels like only yesterday I set off for my own gliding. Headed down to the Marabone Station in the wash I did. Seeing Pyrasta, I almost wet myself. 
can never work out if it was a natural rock formation or some st or a statue someone had carved. You even overheard someone in Ecria saying the thing was alive. A worm that big. Can you imagine? I think I think if I thought that could happen, I wouldn't sleep very well. I like that these are like liquid puddles of salt. Anybody else around here? Hmm. My timer did just go off. Hello. You there. Oh, I can't talk to you. Yes, I still need to go back to Pyrausta, but I haven't gotten any clues about what to do about Pyrausta. So, I don't really know. Can't go back to Pyrausta just yet. And I do have more stamina to get the chum that was up there. So these are just like liquid salt pools. That's so crazy. And what is this line? I feel like this is just an accidental part of the geometry. And isn't anything to worry about. Or does it keep going? Why are you pink? Explain to me. You are just pink for the sake of being pink. Okay. Well... Here, I'm gonna check out this corner real quick, and then that'll probably be it for the episode. Anything over here to reward me for being explorative, explorationary, being a little explorer? Not even like a butterfly? You're not a butterfly, you're flowers. All right, well, <laughs> next time we go off to that intimidating structure. See you then.